all right so i'll take a color and uh, i am going to talk a little bit about basic local alignment search tool now blast and uh, this is something whenever you talk about wine informatics blast is something that we always uh, need to understand always need to perform practically as well so what is a full form of blast b l a s t all caps basic local alignment search tool okay now basically it's a tool for searching similarity which is developed by ncbi okay ncbi developed blast is very very popular tool to find out sequence similarity okay so the sequence similarity search tool you can say that sequence similarity this is sequence similarity search tool now how to search for sequence similarity it can be either nucleotide sequence or it can be so either nucleotide sequence or amino acid that means protein sequences and we can search that sequence basically okay we can search that sequence so uh, so in this case we have a sequence so let's say the sequence that we use to search throughout the all database under ncb ai that database is known as the query query sequence query sequence is the sequence to be tested tested means to be searched okay to find for similarity and then there is the whole database whole database the sequence database is there to find the match okay so whenever the match is there it's like you know you are trying to get a bioinformatics books for your preparation i told you the name of the book you have the book in your hand and now you went to a library or a shop where you want to get that same book so what will you do you just show it to the librarian and tell them to search the whole library of books and to get that same book out okay so what that librarian will do the librarian will follow follow a protocol right because the library is filled with thousands of books so the librarian will take your book and first it will check what kind of book it is whether it is of lower study or higher study it will be a higher study book because bioinformatics is for higher studies so there is a higher study section in the library so now the search is limited so from the whole library now it's going to the higher study now inside higher study what subject it is bioinformatics so under life sciences bioinformatics so the person will now stick to the life science portion where only the life science books are there so now in the like this will be even smaller than the whole library than even smaller than the total higher education book section and now in the life science section textbook section particularly the person will search for all the different subjects zoology botany physiology bioinformatics biochemistry then the person will find out a uh, uh, you know a place where the bioinformatics only bioinformatics books are there and then in that particular uh, let's say uh, storage unit of bioinformatics book then the person will search for what kind of book it is whether it's an indian author book or a foreign author book now let's say it's a foreign author book then you go to the foreign author section of the bioinformatics uh, library section and the foreign author book then the person will search for that book now the search becomes so organized when we search it like this or now if you randomly give this bioinformatics book to someone who don't know about anything about bioinfo haven't heard about it or don't know anything about uh, it's not educated at all and the, you give this book to the person and the person will now run and try to see all the books in the library try to match the front cover and you, it it will return you a query so who will take more time obviously the person letter will take more time and actually it's not logical at all not scientific at all so there should be a proper approach this approach is known as algorithm so when we talk about algorithm algorithm is a process which is feeded to a software platform which a software runs because you know software uh, knows only binary one or zero right we are not binary we always think with quantitative measurements no binary thing so for a software is all binary one or zero so based on that binary values we can create an algorithm now the software will follow the algorithm blindfoldedly and we know that we are going to get our data okay so we just just simply i give you an example of an algorithm of searching a book so similarly if you have a query sequence and you need to search that query sequence throughout the all database under ncbi because ncbi runs multiple databases we know that okay as very popular as well the traffic is also very good so your query sequence you want to find match whether your query is matching to any other query any other sequence in the database okay that's what we run blast for okay so blast algorithm has a step what are the step here basically blast algorithm follows uh, the processing of query is a proper uh, it process the query with the proper stages 
okay so for example uh, what i can tell you is that uh, this query sequence you in, you put it uh, with a query sequence the input is your query sequence and your query sequence the very first step is removing removing let me write removing low complexity area low complexity area so any low complexity area will be removed for example let's assume that we are talking about uh, a protein sequence uh, and uh, let's say we are talking about a protein sequence of uh, so l l l l k r k d k l l k k k k so low complexity area means those which are containing repetitive sequence so these are repetitive sequence this is also repetitive sequence okay so repetitive sequence are not usually uh, allowed and the first thing that the blast algorithm do is that it removes all the repetitive sequence and instead of repetitive sequence they place x for what x and n x for protein and uh, n for nucleotide so it will be 4x k r k d l uh, d k sorry d k l l and then four more x so x means you are not going to consider those sequence because they are of low complexity we only take sequence which are unique one to two sequence is fine but no repetitive sequence okay now after this thing is done after this thing is made the list of words the list of words uh, for each of the word in the query is scored and we can give the score for each of it so i am not going to talk the you know the the hard and fast rules of blast algorithm there i am going to share it in a way so that you understand that's very important because you know that blast algorithm background is not that important what is important is how to run a blast in practical so practical knowledge for blast is more important practical knowledge for fasta is more important we'll do that later on but just try to understand the situation now so we have value right for individual for individual position we have a score or scoring system we have this scoring system okay and uh, the word so so whatever query we are searching we call it word okay how many word for a nucleotide sequence we use 11 words for proteins we generally take 3 words okay c for protein sequence 11 for nucleotide that is the fixed length for which we check we run the sequence similarity search okay so now what will you do is that based on each of this word matching so whenever there is a match a word there is a score given based on that match if there is a mismatch then there is a different score there is a match there is a score so for 11 different uh, 11 stretch of a word uh, there will be a particular score given to that sequence okay now by this fashion maximum score what will be the maximum score ask yourself what will be the maximum score if all 11 words are match all matched then only if all of them are matched then only what will get then only will get maximum score and and generally in this case the maximum score value is known as threshold value okay so maximum score not not threshold sorry this is the maximum score when you get a uh, full match but full match is not a possibility so sometimes you know out of 11 there may be two matches out of 11 eight matches out of 11 10 matches out of 11 out of 11 five matches there are different uh, possibilities possible we have a maximum score if all of them matched and we have a